Hi, I'm Pina. Welcome to my channel. I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> welcome here, to my channel. Literally, I'm joined here with Tony from... Hi, I'm at Lounging with Tony. Yes, and we are going to be doing a quick little reunion with some of my LA castmates, and we're really excited to get into all the tea. All the tea. All Listen, the tea. you guys don't want to go anywhere because mm -hmm. it's about to be spilled and get a little messy. It's going to get messy. So, let's get into it. Roll it. Let me introduce my gorgeous cast because they are truly so special. <laughs> Brooke, do you want to start? Yeah. Uh, I'm Brooke and I was in the lodge for Danny. Um, hi, I'm Winston. Um, I was in the lodge for Penny. Um, my name is Evelyn and I was in the lodge for Danny. Mm. Uh, my name. <laughs> 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 oh, wait, not, wait, did that sound shady? <laughs> yeah, um, my name is Raquel and I was in the lodge for Amanda. Okay. I already introduced myself technically in an earlier clip, but. Uh. <laughs> and as you know, I'm Kina, I was there for Amanda. Mm. And I was there watching the whole thing go down. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, so um, Evelyn and Raquel, um, yeah. you two came in like right when everyone had like the strongest connections, you know, in the house. Um, how did you guys feel coming into the lodge and seeing that, did it, when and you came in? To be completely honest, yeah. um, I think from the start, me and Danny didn't really have a connection, um, a, a romantic connection. Yeah. We kind of established more platonic one. So okay. I wasn't really like putting myself out there and trying to, you know, get dates from him because there wasn't a spark initially, so. I didn't feel like I needed to, you know? And yeah. we already established a friendship, which was great, and we were friends on the show, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you want to hear the whole spiel? Yeah. Like, like, a, like a condensed yeah, version? Condensed spiel. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I was just very emotional on that show, you know? I was on my period, <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. And then also, um, I was homesick, and then I feel like the altitude, just everything all together was my very first experience being on TV and on right. set with cameras, and it was just very overwhelming. And I think I just, all of it caught up to me, and then just not feeling like I had a place on the show, right. and didn't really know how to maneuver myself in a way that made sense, so I was just emotional. Mm -hmm. But on the show, it made it seem like I was crying over him, which kind of was a little annoying, because right. that was totally taken out of context. Right. Um, but context is the key yeah. word. Context yeah, is the yeah. key word. Think, yeah, yeah. And it's it crazy is the key word, because yeah. we filmed 24 7, yet yeah. only like very little, like, right. yeah, like one yeah. episode yeah. is like five sprinkles. days. Yeah. I know, yeah. Yeah. with little sprinkles. Yeah. And I'm like, wait, but you didn't show my good yeah. days. Right? <laughs> <laughs> bad days. I'm like, <laughs> well, you know, how did you feel? Um, uh, yeah. I mean, I think very similar to you, it was like, because I was like the last person to come in for Amanda, yeah. so it was uh, very intimidating, overwhelming. Um, honestly, I was just like, just try and have fun with it, be open-minded, you never know what can happen. Um, so it, but we did get the short end of the stick. We the did, the yeah. Day. Yeah, so a little bit of a bummer. I mean, with that, because neither one of you, you know, had the opportunity to at least go out on a date with, um, with Danny or Amanda, did you just feel like, you know, you didn't have a, a chance at all, like coming into it, especially like having to wait so long to come into the lodge? It's really hard to form a connection when you're not being offered those dates. Mm -hmm. um, and then already seeing that there were such strong connections and already feeling that, you know, I couldn't outweigh, you know, what was going on. And they had a really strong and genuine connection. So I didn't want to get in the way of that and try to like, not pretend, but just, you know, just around or just waste time, you yeah. know? Right. But I made amazing friends in the lodge and, and I was there for that, the yeah. friendships and the connections, so. Right. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, same thing, just to like echo off of that. It's, um, I think I had like two couch opportunities. <laughs> and I was like maxed out at like eight minutes. Out. So I was just like, all right, go, all right, go. You know, I just went into it like, a, like an athlete. <laughs> Yeah, it, it is what it is. Honestly, I think you know to your point, like it's about because like I watched the show. I'm like, they got a hot air balloon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, so right? salty about the hot air balloon. Like, oh, oh, air balloon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm that's like a bummer. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was pleasantly surprised that like we were able to hit it off. Um, and so I was like, oh, okay, like maybe because initially I was just like, there's no chance in hell. But we actually had like a really great conversation. So I was just really just being open minded, and I think there was like. 
a connection somewhat, but it's just so hard when you've only talked to someone for 18 minutes. And yeah. <laughs> a it's lot of people. So yeah. Speed yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Speed dating and there's like, there's, you know, you're sweating in front of cameras and just trying to be yourself. But like, yeah. how can you really be yourself when there's right. so many cameras around? Like, it's it's difficult. Yeah. But yeah. Right. I think yeah. there was one time where I was like trying to talk to Danny and then in my peripherals, I saw like the cameras and I like looked over really quick and I made eye contact with both the camera <laughs> oh, guys. Yeah. And I was I like, oh. <laughs> it was yeah. like, oh, you can't use that if I stare at the camera right away. Right. Yeah. So I was like, I'll just. <laughs> <laughs> They're smart. Yeah. Let's talk about that first conversation <laughs> that we saw with Danny. When I watched it, Awkward. I literally felt I felt so bad for you because I was like, oh, this poor girl. She is she's so nervous. Awkward. She's shy. She's yeah. awkward. It was like it was such a a like okay girl. But it wasn't only you, me because he wasn't giving me anything right. to work with. It's yeah. like I don't have any issue talking to any man. Yeah. yeah. We had a great conversation oh. that night. You we did. Yeah. We yeah. had a heart to heart and I really yeah. appreciate you for everything that you <laughs> No, I'm serious, but yeah. I don't have a problem <laughs> getting a guy, let's just be yeah. honest. Oh, yeah. so, we, I mean, have okay, you seen, I love, have I'm you here for this Can we stand up? Can we do a I mean, Yeah, let's do a 360. Yeah. But make sure, they, yeah. make sure they see the boots yeah. though too. Yeah. They got to see the I mean, get the shoes, baby. Get yeah. the shoes. <laughs> Net zero problems in this department. <laughs> uh, do you guys feel like, in general, like, especially for the people who are in the house for the like the shortest amount of time, because you know they kind of have to pick something about your personality and then really like cling to it and be like, this is this character, mm -hmm. this is who this person is. Mm -hmm. Do you, do you guys feel, especially because you know you weren't there for very long, do you feel like they portrayed you correctly? So, right. I definitely feel like I was portrayed as this very like happy go lucky. Like yeah. I'm just like the life of the party. Yeah. Is that false? Which but, like, <laughs> you know, it's true. Like, Wait, was it like something poor? Is like something bad? Was that the question? Just like raise hands. Does anyone feel like they were not portrayed correctly? <laughs> Team. Yeah. Just just you two. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, damn. No, no, no. I'm 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 just like hashtag justice for Hina. Sorry. I just have to say that. You yeah. were not portrayed correctly as you were, yeah, as you are. I mean, I feel like it's like if you have a big personality and you say a lot, and I do say a lot, I feel like you're giving, there's more room for error. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, and you can, yeah. I, I was, I had like probably over like 20 hours of interview footage that they could have spliced, put anywhere, made anything make sense. You could you have know? been like the sweetest, the funniest, the meanest. Yeah. So, so how do you, how do you feel like you were Just portrayed <laughs> versus how you are? I feel like I'm pretty calm, pretty stable. Yeah. I'm pretty like patient. I'm pretty understanding. Yeah. Um, I think that the frustration when you're not chosen in a show where you have to be chosen and you're there under the pretense of like, I want to find love and yeah. you're being like rejected. Like imagine babe, you go on a date three times with somebody and you're like, so how do you feel? And they're like, there's no romantic connection. Mm -hmm. There's no romantic, and three times they tell you that. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to keep going on dates with them trying to form a romantic no. connection? No, babe, you got to no. walk away. You got to start exploring your options, right? Yeah. You're in the lodge. Yeah, there's yeah. beautiful yeah. lesbians, there's beautiful other people. Yeah. And you're just there. Like, I feel like I was caught saying like, I'm just being honest, I'm just being honest the whole time. And then I'd like write in the next shot, do something that looks dishonest. Mm -hmm. But I, I was being very honest throughout the entire experience, throughout the entire process. And yeah. like, and obviously if you don't see me being honest and then, you know, and then the very next clip it looks like something else. Yeah. I yeah. look crazy and I look very toxic. And it was, it hurts because like, you know, I went on there and I wanted to be like non-binary lesbian representation and mm -hmm. I wanted it to be very positive. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I definitely do think I was like villainized for sure. And really? just a lot of things were taken out of context. I never saw you as, as a villain. I didn't see anyone as a villain. I think for some reason I kind of understood the situation, mm -hmm. even though I wasn't in it. You know, right. I'm pretty sure it was a lot. You know, you all went in with the intention right. of like finding love and hoping to find a connection with, right. with, with these people. And you know, it may or, or may not have happened. But that's and, it. And you're encouraged by the producers to like explore Other options. Other yeah. I was told to, when, yeah, when I, I went in, that. they were like you know, there's other people in the house other than the lead. So like, right. explore what, what they other options. Yeah, they mm -hmm. So they, they were saying that, people. but then when you did that, they would yeah. turn it around right. against you. Right. Right. Like, like, oh, right. mm -hmm. JP said early on, he, you know, was hoping to find the spark for Markel, but he found we, it we, in yeah, time. You go yeah. in there yeah. hoping to 
can't find it with your lead, and if you don't, you don't. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. And so, so Winston, oh, gosh. Um, I've done my research okay. um, with the media and the press, <laughs> okay. and I think we all know it's complicated between you and me, but we want to know, like, what, what does that mean? What are the complications? <laughs> oh. Okay, yeah. Are you guys still together? Or, or this is what we're talking about? I'm the host. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Evelyn was like, listen, listen, that's yeah. cute. I got together. Um, the complications. Yeah. So, here's the thing. What's the thing? We entered this, when we were in the show, and it was like a fairy tale, and like we had every intention of making it work, and... Mm. I think that we were both really optimistic and I'm like such a hopeless romantic and so like, you know, it, it was so easy to like explain how we were going to kind of continue the relationship moving forward. But then reality was when he moved to LA, um, we were even further and I feel like for a long distance relationship there has to be an end in sight. There has to be some sort of Light like, the end of the tunnel. there has to be two things, right? There has to be like a combining of lives in some way and then like an end to when maybe this is going right. to stop yeah. at some point, right. in my opinion. Right. Um, and we've never found that. So Penny said multiple times in the show, like, you're not the kind of guy that I normally oh go God. for, which I don't think is a compliment that a lot of people think about it. Is. I think one of the things that I appreciated about it was that within our community, everyone does have a very specific type. So for me, I was happy to see that you both were open to like dating each other and getting to know each other, even though you weren't each other's type. Mm -hmm. So I, yeah. you know, appreciated that because some people around here just stick to a list, and I need them to get off this list so they can get into this chocolate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think it's important. I think it's important. Yeah. It is. The thing is, is it's when I say it's not type, it's not just physical. Like it's. It's it's more than that. Like there's like an energy or yeah. sort of yeah. like a chemistry. A, yeah. and, uh, there's this like this feeling yeah. that and and so with Penny, it wasn't that I wasn't attracted to him. He's yeah. hot. Like <laughs> there's no question yeah. about that. It's just more about like it wasn't the normally like it, uh, if we met at a bar, we wouldn't just immediately like be drawn to each other and be yeah. like just go it out. Right. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> but. After giving our giving ourselves like the chance to kind of develop it and just hang out and take like all the pressures off the table, it was like it's amazing how something can develop when you're yeah. sure. Like I didn't look at him and immediately go, "Oh my god, my husband." Yeah, my husband. Mm -hmm. But he was actually like incredible and sweet and supportive, and like we had this idea just to kind of continue past the lodge and like kind of continue to date as opposed to like I'm going home as your boyfriend kind right. of thing. And then when we were in Atlanta, Atlanta is when sort of. I spent the most time with him one on one, and that's when like a true connection developed, and that's Aww. when like I really started to like be into him and fall for him. Yeah. So so going home with him and being in Atlanta, do you feel like that's the moment where you guys really felt connected? Absolutely. Yeah. Atlanta was amazing. It was like a low key free for all. We had yeah. so much fun. It was like seeing his friends and his family. Um, we went on this like friend date also, and I got to meet all yeah, those friends. Yeah, I met Amanda's they... friends as well. Yeah, they, oh. just cut out they the didn't show. Oh, I wish I would have seen yeah, that. Yeah, it been because nice it's, to it's see. important. Not it, like not only family is important, right. but like I feel like how you connect with their okay. friends and as well is important too. too. Chosen family is honestly mm -hmm. like as an immigrant yeah. for Absolutely. me as yeah. like my family yeah. family. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's like important, right? And I feel like that whole dynamic. I feel like that was they fumbled the bag a little bit with not showing that. Yeah, I can't imagine what it's like to try and like tie like however many people were in the show all together and like connect the story and like, so that when you watch it, it's not so chaotic. Right. So one of the words we have said is context, right? right. There's a lot of context that context. we've been missing, right? So what, what are some of the things that we didn't see um, between you and Amanda? Mm. Um, I think Amanda and I had a really solid friendship. Mm -hmm. Like I think that throughout the, the experience, we, ha we were friends, you yeah. know? And I think that like, you know, you saw on the show some of it, like, you know, me supporting Amanda after Markel left and so mm -hmm. on, like, and I would give Amanda notes under her door every morning. Oh, and my God, that's I would so like cute. touch and like touch base with her. So and be like, How that. are you doing? Yeah. Oh, How are you so doing? Cute. What's going oh. on? Like yeah. 
you know, and I would, I'd be like, like I hope you have a great day, like things like that. And yeah. like, I feel like they didn't really see like these thoughtful moments. I also like all that time I was in quarantine in the lodge, I actually like hand drew a picture of outside my window of Tahoe, wrote her a poem in French and then wrote that to her on the couch on camera. That didn't make the screen. Mm. Like there were, there were all of these <laughs> things the that, that yeah, yeah. yeah there were all these things that I feel like would have like buffered my like, person that I was represented as right. like as like a more tender human being yeah. but I feel they didn't show like when I was trying to leave twice you were trying to leave and go the away. lodge I was trying to go home you wow. were trying to eliminate yourself I was trying to eliminate myself that twist that Wait. The, Tea. the ceremony that Ari went home uh -huh. I also wanted to go home the Brianna situation which I also feel like the show blew out of proportion uh -huh. that wasn't really like why I was mad it was more like I talked to Amanda that day off camera and was like, hey, like, how, how are you feeling about Brianna? And then Amanda was like, I don't really feel like that's it. And yeah. so when the overnight date came up and then she chose someone who she already knew she wasn't into, it made me feel like it was a waste of my time to be there. If you don't pick me for this, you're not taking this seriously because, yeah. <laughs> you know, why would you not take your strongest connection? Danny t took um, Nikki, who was the strongest connection, because yeah. he wanted to use that time for their relationship. Was he? And I wasn't there yet. Oh. <laughs> 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 that was the best. <laughs> It felt like it made sense. Right. You know, I felt like you know you and Amanda were making um, a strong connection. Right. You had your bumps, but like you were making a connection, and then. You were in New York, you guys were on the steps, and all of a sudden this like argument ensued, yeah. and then mm. she was just like, I choose myself. And mm. I literally was just like yeah. Wait, whoa. What what, what happened? Yeah. Because I, I you're totally missing missed so that. much context, right? right. Yeah, yeah. It's like that it, right before the finale, I told Amanda that take Remy home. Don't take me home. Take Remy home. Because if you really? take me home, yeah. I'll say yes, but you're taking me home as your friend. And if you take Remy home, you can find love. And so I feel like the T is like, I wasn't trying to just win and I didn't care about screen time. Yeah, yeah. Like I work online for a living. Like yeah, yeah. if I want screen time, I just open my phone. You right, know? Right, right, it's like, right. and Amanda told me I picked you because I feel like you're the person I'm gonna have the most fun with at home. Mm -hmm. And like, I thought we were on the same page. And then when yeah. we got to Denver, it was like now, okay, like, where's the romance? And blah, 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 blah. We were kind of being pressured to be that. I just feel like, from that point forward, like my heart wasn't in it, and I feel like it's very evident on screen as well. Like mm -hmm. you see that I'm just like, just out done of with it. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you but know, but how it's portrayed is like you were out of it because of the bump in the road right. after the confessing. No, I just think that it was just at that point I was not interested anymore. And yeah, I feel like I was missing a lot of like nobody was giving me anything. So there really wasn't. A, it, it, a, a, a romantic connection between you and Amanda. No. It was more so just a friendship, and you laid that out like, "Listen, was, girl, we're just we're just kicking. Like, if I that, go home, then that moment was. I mean, tensions were high. Yeah. I was obviously weeping, and, and be, because oh. of you two, yeah. um, in that moment. And then when you said that, I was just like, yeah. I was like, I was like shocked. I was confused. Yeah. yeah. Are we talking, what, what moment are we talking about? Yeah. Are you, are you talking about the steps? Oh, oh what were you talking sorry. About? <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about when you said, choose Remy. Oh, choose Remy. Choose yeah, Remy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. And, yeah. I wasn't there for the map. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So speaking of what are we doing, so you, you've mentioned, mm -hmm. you know, being open to exploring and, and other connections. We, we saw one, we know right. one of, of you and Chrissy. Right. Um, were there any other connections that you had yeah um, there was um <clears throat> there was a major one yeah oh wait what wait what? Have you, uh, a wait so we didn't see this no no, no. <gasps> so this, this was behind the scenes here. i know no, this wasn't even behind Air. the scenes this was after the show oh after the show yeah okay like after the show oh. i had a crush but while the show was going on Oh Wait a second, please elaborate. Yeah. Because so, I need to know about this. So you're so you're did you get with your crush after the show? Yeah. <gasps> okay, well, you I actually met with up with them? Yeah. Well it was yeah. Um uh -huh. it was me. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry for hitting you. <laughs> Wait a minute. When I Wait, Wait you're hold you on. Said you? Grab your wigs. <laughs> 
Wig, <laughs> wig snatched. Wig completely she snatched. She snatched I'm all dead. of our wigs. Wait all a minute. Just Hold on. Everyone. Let yeah. me get your PowerPoint presentation. Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So let's 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 discuss this. <laughs> oh my god. How did? Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> Tea has literally, literally been spilled. Wait a minute. First wait of all, a, wait a minute. Rewind. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You came in for Danny, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Right. Yep. Now, how at the end of the show did you end up mm. with Hina? Mm. Take us from the beginning. Wait, yeah, I'll tell the beginning. Yeah, you tell the beginning. So yeah. basically, like, <laughs> yeah. and we're all just sitting downstairs, and then Brooke walks in in a cute little outfit with Danny, and I just like saw her, and I was like, oh wow. I mean, like, look at her, right? Look and I was her. like, She's oh, wow. Her. Like, what's this all about? And then, like, I remember we were sitting there, and, like, we're, kind of, we're basically sitting like this. And I'm, like, looking at Brooke, and then Brooke's looking at me, and I'm looking at Brooke. And it's like this. Yeah. This is it. Like, how we're looking at each other, right? And there's, like, a hundred people around us. So then I got out Brooke with my roommate. So then we're up in the room, like, oh. we're getting ready for things. And then I was like, I, like, look at Brooke, and I'm like, you're not straight, are you? And then Brooke goes, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you say it in the room with the microphone? I could have been talking to anyone yeah. for all they knew. Yeah. At one point, I like went up to Brooke in the lodge, and I was like, Brooke, <laughs> listen. I was like, I, I think I like you. Wow. And I think that wow. I would uh, like to maybe possibly kiss you sometime. <laughs> and and then Brooke was like, I'm here for Danny. <laughs> oh like, and I was like, cool, you're right. I'm still technically here for somebody else. I probably shouldn't. And that was that would have been on the record the first kiss I initiated. Thank you, but it didn't happen. Ooh, um, okay. So okay, wait. Because my head is swirling because I literally was so upset with Danny that he chose Nikki because I felt like he really wanted to choose you. Yeah. You don't know. Were you kind of wrestling with or, or trying to figure out what you personally, aside from the show, what you were in or who you were interested in? Um, I mean, I'm still interested in men for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, still, still a process for me that this. I mean, the show has fast forwarded this process for mm. me about like ident how I identify and all that. Yeah. Uh, but to set the record straight, I was there for Danny till yes. the end. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, which I don't want to be twisted. Yeah, kind of yeah. Thing. yeah. Danny and I didn't work out, and I, I again context, right? Danny and I didn't work out, and that was logistics. He wanted to stay in Florida. He wanted to be with his family. I'm very career driven. He want he wanted kind of like more of the domestic lifestyle, and that's not me. Right? Because I was, I, I feel like Tyra. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. And and and. <laughs> I totally, I totally thought that, yeah, that yeah, when yeah. they, when you guys ended up at the Empire State Building, yes. that you were gonna be there and not, and Nikki. not Nikki. Yeah. yeah. So. She's great. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So then, you, you says you, you're still interested in men. Yeah. Um, but where does your relationship mm. lie at the moment? We're actually engaged. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> I don't believe you. I don't believe that. Oh, I don't believe that. Because look, because honey, I was about to say no, I'm no, a no, I'm, no, I'm, I'm an officiant, really beloved. Bro, <laughs> 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 no, um, so yeah, Brooke and I dated for a couple months after the show, okay. and then we were like, we started as friends. Like we were just hanging out. Like we both like movies, so we like started going to some movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was just like, Wait, did you guys just say you guys dated? Yeah. Yeah. So like after the show, thank you for that. After the show, Brooke and I like we went to some movies. And it was like, Brooke's a horror fan, I'm a horror fan. We like saw some Saw in theaters. Yeah. And it was kind of like, okay, we're just hanging out. We're just bros being bros. And then one day, a, a bro kisses you and you're like, okay. 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 The okay. Homosexual okay. Is <laughs> it's, it's the bro to babe pipeline. Bro. And, it's been, and yeah, so we kind of, um, kind of, and then it became like uh, something more. But then, and then we kind of just realized we're greatest friends. And then. Yeah. It was like a super amicable thing. We're still yeah. great friends yeah. and, you know, no hard feelings, nothing okay. sad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It looked amicable. Yeah. 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 But, but see, I, I just love the fact that you you went with a feeling yeah. to, to see, like, what is this, you know, it feels, it feels like wicked. What is this feeling? <laughs> um, that some people wrestle with that so much that they don't take the time to just you know, explore, you yeah. know, and, and have someone that you feel safe with 
to to do that. So mm. I commend you for for doing that yeah, and yeah. and just seeing like what those feelings are instead of like wrestling with it, you know. Which I have. Yeah. Like for basically I'm my for whole sure. life. Yeah. Um, mm. And I came out to everyone this week. My whole family. <gasps> This Good is public. For you. All right. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so how do you, to clarify? You know, how do you identify? Yeah. I would say fluid or pansexual. I've I've said my whole life that literally, if you look at my track history, none of my exes look the same, and okay. I feel like it's always been a mental or emotional connection for me. Yeah. And. No, gender has never mattered, clearly. I don't even have one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you don't even have to have one. Um, yeah, so I would just say fluid. I feel like that that is an identity apart from my sexuality. I feel like right. I'm a fluid person in general. Yeah. Um, yeah. And just to speak on Hina's behalf, when we ended, they were so patient with me. And, you know, I it's such a new process, and I harbor a lot of shame. Mm. And... Yeah. You know, everyone in the gay community yeah. can relate to that. Yeah. Um, they knew with the very small private group of people that knew about me. And they were nothing but supportive when I was, you know, we would go out on a date. And I would call them the next morning hysterical about the fact that I was making out with someone, woman adjacent, and like harboring so much shame. Mm -hmm. Hina has brought so much clarity mm -hmm. to me and have has given me so much power mm. to come out to everyone oh. um, <laughs> See? which um oh gay hug We can't, I'm not going to say who. The cardinal sin of being gay is outing somebody. Number one. Yes. Um, you should never feel forced to come out. And I feel like some some of us sitting here were outed. I've or been have outed. experienced being outed. And it's one of the scariest, most yeah. horrifying mm -hmm. experiences yeah. that a queer person can go through. And just know that if someone comes <clears throat> out to you, it's very personal. And it's their choice to come out and when they feel like they're ready to do that. And the takeaway here is no one should feel how Brooke does. Brooke is like an incredibly sweet, caring, tender, loving, genuine, beautiful person. I love you. And I love you so much. We, we, I, we wanted her to figure it out. Whatever, yeah. whatever time period or time frame that looks like for her, and it looks different for everybody. <clears throat> so, um, I want to commend you for your strength and your courage Thank to you. come out because. Yeah. It's it's a biggie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm gonna edit in some gay flags. To start <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I got yeah. I mean like I this is the safest I've felt all week, like coming out like repeatedly, literally for the past ten days to people. I have been literally I don't think I have any tears left in my body. <laughs> so the fact that I'm not crying right now, I'm really proud of myself and now no. I'm just gonna be like Walking down the street yeah. like, I'm gay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's out now. Yeah, for um, sure. It was a shitty situation, but uh, it's, it's, yeah. it's free. So, and it, a blessing in disguise. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry but, that happened to Yeah, you. I mean, I think it's the most beautiful story and yeah. like a big like, f you. There was, yeah. there was a successful <laughs> queer love story. There was. There was. Yeah. There was. No offense. I mean, obviously Thanks. you guys too, but <laughs> we're kind of taking your thunder right now. So we've moved on. <laughs> Wait, really? cheers. Just a quick cheers. cheers. Oh. Just a, yeah. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Um, who is most likely to oh with our cast members? And I know that mm. not everyone knows everybody, but out of people you know. Or, yeah, I mean, we all talk. Yeah, yeah. we all yeah. talk. Yeah, we talk enough. Okay. We're all right. Now. So I have the questions here for you. Oh, gosh. All right. So who is most likely to find the camera-free zones for alone time? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Raquel's like, I wasn't there long enough to find them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everyone All right. good? Yeah. yeah. Everyone reveal. got one? Three, on three two, two, one. one. <laughs> Nikki. Yeah. 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 Wait, what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was the question again? And Remy, what, uh, <laughs> find the, the who's zone? most likely to find the camera free zones for, for a, a long, long time? time. Oh, not me. Not me. Okay, okay. Oh, like, but by themselves. Like, like, so like, yeah. Well, not one. Well, okay, okay. either either with yeah. someone else. By oh, themselves. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Oh, because we're talking about the yeah. whole yeah. couple yeah. 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 that are just yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. Welcome to the game. All right. Okay. Now I get. Welcome back to this channel. Could we write a little bigger? Right. Oh, sure. Yeah, I did write really small. All right. So. Oh, are we ready? Yeah. Good. Who is most likely to always be caught in the hot tub? Ooh. I swear, y'all spent a lot of time in the Not hot tub. Not me, and I'm still upset about it. <laughs> I, know. Um, I don't know her name. Oh, like I don't this. know. Um, oh, B. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, double, double. What is it? B-E-E. Just, no, A. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, everyone got one? Three, and three. two, one. There we go. Is this uh, Benji, B, B, B. B, 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 B. Okay. Oh, goodness. God. All right. I got them right. All right. Oh, we'll erase yeah. erase yeah. them. All right. Next ah. one. Who is most likely to be found eating or snacking? Ooh. Because listen, there were, that's all you could do in that house was snack. Well, Every day it had snacks. Yeah. And finger food. I was yeah. still upset about that. <laughs> Where is the meal? Where is the fantasy? Okay. Okay. All right. Three. Three, two, one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Everyone say it yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Dead ass. And you, you no, know why? Because no, you were hungry. No, there were no meals. You were. You were. And and I was like, that. is this like just for decor? Or right. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't want to stay hungry. All right. Who is most likely to take Me. the longest to get ready? Ooh. Oh my oh. gosh. I mean, there had to be a call time. Were you yeah. running down the steps? Were you ready oh, to go? I, oh. I mean, I was oh, really God. dramatic yeah. about it. Yeah. Sure. Uh, For sure. I For mean, sure. once in the hair alone. Okay, I got one. Don't even get me started. We, we're not going to roll those <laughs> Um. I guess I'll see you. All right, everyone have one? Yeah. yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Amanda, one Amanda. of the gays. Oh, true, true. Hold on. Did you put Amanda? No, they all, they all put Nikki. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, and then one of the gays. Okay, Amanda, okay. Amanda, 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 Amanda taking hell of a long time. All right. Amanda took so long. Like, why? So long. There's literally no reason why she would take long. All right, so who is most likely to collect all the tea in the log? Who is the tea collector of the log? I need to speak to that person. Take it big. One. Everyone, <laughs> on the three. count of three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Heaven's Gate on day one. Of course. You you know what? In your in your future, there's a memoir. Did we yeah. all say how I survived yeah. twelve days of Christmas? Ah! <laughs> Literally, but you held such a safe space for us to like just yeah. I was just yeah. say I didn't anything. Spill any of your secrets. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to know. We were out here playing chess. <laughs> Or yeah. checkers, and they were playing chess. Yeah. Exactly what yeah. I said. That's exactly what you said. <laughs> and All everything right. made sense. Okay. There you go. I was laying the groundwork. All right, so who is most likely to be on the cover of a gossip magazine? Ooh. Oh, gosh. Who was so controversial during these 12 dates of Christmas that they would land themselves on TMZ, National <laughs> Enquirer, us, oh, I don't even know. people. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, for sure. You can't cheat. What? You can't look. No well, looking. Yeah. <laughs> You're changing your answer. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I, mean, right. I am right. It's fucking TMZ. All right, here you go. In all respect, all due respect. Oh, Nabila. Dang. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Brooke, John Paul. John Paul. Yeah. Okay, so Brooke is the winner of this round. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I just would just have tea for no reason. Yeah, for no reason. <laughs> All and right. Listen, my publicist is doing the most. <laughs> <laughs> Last one, everyone. Who is most likely to fall in love in one day? Ooh. Oh, gosh. Oh. I mean, listen, the wind can blow and I'm in love. <laughs> I hear that. Right? It's just, it's just like hit or miss. It, yeah, it really yeah. is. Like, oh my god, I said that! Oh my god, that's crazy. All right, yeah. everyone got it? Three, two, one. Ari, Ari, oh. JP. Oh, Remy. Oh, Remy. Oh, Remy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Remy's the good one. Remy came back from like their vodka 
on today, they're like, I see the future. <laughs> <laughs> twin flame. Yeah, twin flame. Was she really in it? I see <laughs> her. Like, I see she the was future. Into it. Yeah, well, she was she into was it. Into I it. fucking love Remy. God, I <laughs> wish I was in, like. I love Remy. Oh, well, that, that I mean, there was so much. Oh, frustrated. There was so many. Moments. And that's the game, folks. Oh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and uh, I hope that you guys have a Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah. Um, Happy Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. Whatever you're celebrating. Whatever you celebrate. Yes. I hope that you have a loving holiday season and we'll see you in the new year. Mwah. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.